purposely. Your life, God's purpose. Listen at onpurposely.com. It's Friday, so you and I are definitely going to be doing Joy Bombs in the Psalms. But first, the exciting conclusion of Queen Esther's story. I'm Erica. Welcome to the Bible for Busy People. You and I have been on a two-week-long roller coaster. And boy, oh boy, our hands are in the air today as we celebrate and remember God's victory he gave to Esther, the queen, and to Mordecai, the Jew, her faithful cousin and her adopted father. And we celebrate how God uses ordinary people like Esther and Mordecai and you and I to change the world. He weaves us into his plans and it's beautiful. So join me in Esther chapter 10, the final three verses. One more trip on this roller coaster. Here we go. King Xerxes imposed a tribute throughout his empire, even to the distant coastlands. His great achievements and the full account of the greatness of Mordecai, whom the king had promoted, are recorded in the book of the history of the kings of Media and Persia. Mordecai the Jew became the prime minister with authority next to that of King Xerxes himself. Wow. He was very great among the Jews who held him in high esteem because he continued to work for the good of his people and to speak up for the welfare of all their descendants. I don't know about you, but I want to be like Mordecai. I want to be faithful and loyal. I want to do the hard things. I want to encourage the people around me to do the hard things, the hard things for God that he's calling us to do. I want to do the right things. Mordecai knew that his life was in danger because he refused to bow down to the evil right-hand man of the king, Haman. And he still refused to compromise his principles and his faith, even though he knew he might lose his life. He almost did, but God intervened. And it's because Mordecai was courageous. Esther was courageous. They were part of God's plans. They were chosen to be part of God's plan, but they didn't need to say yes. Do you realize that? God could have used somebody else but they said yes. Marinate on that today and consider and ask God, what do you have for me? What plan do you want me to say yes to? And God, this is what I would add, please give me the courage to say yes. Who knows what God will do in your life? He is the same God who intervened in the story of the Jews all of these many years ago. I don't know how many, (laughs) but it's a lot, okay? He intervened and saved his people. What will he do through you? Meditate on that in the coming days and ask him. Say, God, I know that you made me for such a time as this. You, You wanted me to live at this point in history. Point me in the direction you want me to walk. Let me tune into what you have for me. Mm, It's a good prayer to pray. All right, we're going to celebrate now because it is Friday. We're going to be doing joy bombs in the Psalms. And I chose Psalm 30 because I feel like if I were Esther, this is what I would say, even though it was King David who wrote this Psalm. Here we go. Psalm 30, beginning in verse one, I will exalt you, Lord, for you rescued me. You refused to let my enemies triumph over me. Oh, Lord, my God, I cried to you for help and you restored my health. You brought me up from the grave, oh, Lord. You kept me from falling into the pit of death. Sing to the Lord, all you godly ones. Praise his holy name for his anger lasts only a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may last through the night, but joy comes with the morning. When I was prosperous, I said, nothing can stop me now. Your favor, O Lord, made me as secure as a mountain. Then you turned away from me and I was shattered. I cried out to you, O Lord. I begged the Lord for mercy, saying, What will you gain if I die, if I sink into the grave? Can my dust praise you? 
Can it tell of your faithfulness? Hear me, Lord, and have mercy on me. Help me, O Lord. You have turned my mourning into joyful dancing. You have taken away my clothes of mourning and clothed me with joy that I might sing praises to you and not be silent. Oh, Lord, my God, I will give you thanks forever. Do you remember that moment when we were reading the story of Queen Esther this week, when Mordecai was sitting in sackcloth and ashes? He heard that the evil right-hand man of the king wanted to kill all of the Jews because of something he had done, something good he had done. He would not bow down to the evil right-hand man. He would only bow to God. And Haman was so full of hatred and pride that he was like, I'm not just going to kill Mordecai. I'm going to kill all the Jews. And Mordecai was in mourning and deep prayer and asking the Lord to intervene and begging him for mercy and telling Esther she had to go before the king. But look at how the story ended. It did not end with Mordecai begging God for mercy in sackcloth and ashes, just as we just read in Psalm 30. You have taken away my clothes of mourning and clothed me with joy that I might sing praises to you and not be silent. Mordecai was promoted to be the new right hand man. And I am certain that King Xerxes was better off with Mordecai at his side than he was with Haman. There's a beautiful verse in Isaiah chapter 61 that talks about how God gives beauty for ashes. That is what he gave to Mordecai and Esther and to his people. And I believe with a full heart, it is what he wants to give for you too. Your story does not end in sackcloth and ashes. Your story ends in beauty. God turns mourning into joyful dancing, and he uses ordinary people to accomplish his extraordinary plans. That is the story of Queen Esther in a nutshell. Oh, until next time, you are so very loved. Thank you so much for listening to the Bible for Busy People. If you need prayer or you're ready to go a little deeper in your faith, we've posted some resources for you in our show notes. We'd love for you to share this podcast with a friend and leave us a review. It helps us reach even more people with the hope of Jesus. This podcast is part of Purposely, a podcast network designed with practical podcasts to help you find and live in God's purpose for your life. Find more podcasts that will recharge you at onpurposely.com.